biggest like roadblock in my journey so far has been like getting my music heard on a bigger scale outside of like online outlets and not having those connections to like different publications to get like press if you will um do you think those roadblocks are something that i can control or do i just keep going with the gorilla um approach to the way i spread my music and just pound the pavement you know knock on doors kiss babies kind of things like that yeah so the answer to both questions is yes so like you can't control that stuff to the aspect like getting to these publications is just a matter of hiring the right publishers you know what I'm saying? like mm. the connections to those but coming from a publicity background i can tell you out the gate what they're going to tell you is you have to build yourself up to a certain point for these publications that you take you serious unless your narrative coming into it is just so compelling that they want to talk about it or you're just that connected that they're just like fuck it. like i've seen artists before like they're just so industry connected they can pull their stuff out the gate but a lot of times it doesn't work like when i used to work for a publicist what we would do is we would like we would take like four to five months building you out in like small publications we use those small publications to get you into medium publications work you out there for like three four months and use those media publications mm-hmm. to get the big publications right about you. That would take that would be like a whole like two year process in itself just to do that. Um, mm-hmm. But I will yeah. say this is people aren't discovering music from publications anymore. That's not their goal. You go get you can hire publishers right now, five racks that will get you a hype beast and complex and shit, and they're not gonna do anything for you because fans aren't finding music from blogs and publications. They're mm-hmm. more so of a solidifier. It's more of a stamp than a place to mm-hmm. get fans. It's more so for your existing fan base or for people that look good to go like, oh shit, this guy's legit because he's been in complex, he's been a hype man. But people who've done that shit know mm-hmm. that they're not getting any real translation on the back end, unless you're already a big artist. But they gain mm-hmm. more from it than you do. So I always tell people like, you realistically don't need to worry about press until you have like a story to tell. And I don't mean like the story being like, Mm-hmm. Such and such artists dropping a new project. Like, no, it's, it's boring as fuck. Let's mm-hmm. drop. Like, they're not going to want to write about that. It's like a real narrative built out around you, and then now you're trying to push your story out. That's when you want to start talking to the person. In the beginning, man, a lot mm-hmm. of your stuff really should be built around digital advertising, online marketing, um, and then the real style stuff you brought in, like, uh, meet these people who, like, you know, are, like, are fucking with you and that you can actually get to. Because that's going to end up being your leverage when you try to get these publications. They want to know if I write about you, are people going to come read this shit? You know, so like if if I write up write up about you and you post it, how many people are actually going to check it out? Because if it's not mm-hmm. live, then they don't have any incentive to do it. Because then they they doing more work for you than you're doing for them. Um, but I will say a lot of it's just like sticking to the online stuff because it's a lot it's a lot less expensive to run a Facebook ad than it is to hire a publisher. Like I said, good publishers mm. don't run you like minimum like 3500 to five bands like that's on the low end you know what I'm mm. saying? It's like it might be like a, a, a mid-level publisher you know what i'm saying someone who's still cutting their teeth mm-hmm. but you could put that same money into facebook ads and youtube ads and then go directly to people collect their information and then there'll be a lot of shit you can do on your own like it's a lot of it the game is just information collection. so many artists fuck up that y'all do all these a lot of these promotional efforts without any real tangible thing coming out of it so like I say that the biggest power you really have is the ability to do some of this online stuff and then just take that and start collecting like emails, numbers and shit and then get mm-hmm. to the Go to the places where you see people like you building those markets. If you see that I'll be running these ads and I got 70 people in Atlanta who added a so it's my email list, it's like, cool, we need to start figuring out how you can do something in Atlanta. Like, I can do a show out there. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I would say, mm-hmm. man, like, don't, don't worry about press for like a minute. Like, like if you started a campaign today, Unless you just had the budget for it, like, like I said, the budget and the publicist for it, I wouldn't even start looking at the press for like another like eight months. Like, you should spend the okay, time you up and figuring out like a narrative. Oh, wow. Hell yeah. Okay. Oh.